Uh, well, now it's time to take a look at uh, multiple bounds and the uh, wildcard super type. And uh, here we've got um, a class, a generic uh, class, a GN, um, uh, with a type parameter T, which extends um, L, K, and C. That's L, K, and C. And the first thing to notice is that because um, L extends C, um, C has got no effect in this uh, situation here, because anything which is a subtype of L is going to also be a subtype of C. So that's going to have very little effect. Now, there are situations in which um, that might in fact have an effect. If, for example, um, um, L, K and C were all um, uh, interfaces, um, you could then have, in fact have uh, C at the beginning and then the erasure of T would be C and uh, that would make a difference. At least it would make a difference to the code and uh, that may affect things when you're dealing with uh, the raw type. Uh, but um, and that's for the next uh, lecture anyway, but uh, it has no effect in this situation here. Now um, if you look down here in green I've highlighted um, um, all of those uh, types which are subtypes of both K and L. And therefore uh, candidates for this inclusion. And um, this uh, blue areas, these uh, blue areas around here, um, um, highlight uh, uh, two particular types. There's um, super R, which has got just R and F in it, and there's super O, which has got um, O, R, N, Q, and F in. And that shows that um, uh, GN of uh, super R is a subtype of GN of super O. And you can see that O and um, O is a subtype of R and uh, well, that's not too surprising, really. Now, um, um, both of these, uh, those two types, in fact, um, generate a spurious error, um, claiming that its type is out of bounds in the Sun's reference uh, compiler. But um, if you try this out on IBM's Eclipse system, you'll find it's um, okay, and it works properly on Eclipse. Now, multiple bounds with uh, the Wildcard Super are a known bug in the Sun's compiler, and that's why it gives the problem. Right then, how do we identify um, various subtypes here? Well, what you do is, um, first of all, you identify those types which are subtypes of the bound, which I'm highlighting in green here. And then for um, X being super something or other, you identify the super types of X, and then the intersection of the two sets uh, tells you what the required set is. And um, if you look, uh, you'll find that um, a GN of uh, something which is super P, that, for example, super that, which will be up there, and um, super L and super M will, will all give um, a compiler error because it can tell from these uh, straight away, it can tell that um, they cannot possibly be a, um, a subtype of these. Uh, of all those uh, bounds. And because of that, the compiler will generate a compiler error if you mention any of those. But uh, you certainly shouldn't uh, give compiler errors when you try and use those. That's a fault in the compiler. 